in this video i am talking to all the j2026 droppers so guys before starting the video one thing that you need to understand is taking a drop is not a mistake taking a drop is a strategic decision that you have made right now if you utilize this properly you work on your weaknesses then you are going to have unimaginable results but what if you don't have a plan you don't have a strategy in that way you are going to repeat the same mistake in j2026 right so to avoid that i am going to walk you through all the mistakes and how to fix them in this video so let's start this video but before that don't forget to hit that like button share this video with the friends that actually need this and subscribe to this channel because we always always make the videos which are informative which are needed and the live sessions sessions which are knowledgeable for you now students the first thing is that what's the upper hand that you have over the other students who are not droppers is that you know the mistakes that you have done you are not starting from scratch you know the hardship you know what is your weak point right all you have to do is improve yourself into that you already have built a base now to make that foundation even stronger you have to work more hard right so that is your strong point and moreover you don't have to go to school and all that is not there right now for you so you can utilize that time to give time to your jee preparation next thing is what exactly was your mindset now why this is so important you need to tell me you need to ask yourself firstly here that why you took this decision to take a drop it may be first reason can be ma'am i think that i was not i have not put my 100% in j2025 so that's why i don't want to regret it i want to give it one more chance so that i can give it my 100% right if you know if you have not prepared in j2025 as your potential was then right now you know that it's not only the weaknesses it's the points that you have not covered right it's the hard work that you have not done actually but for all the students who have done like enough hard work they were good in solving the questions concepts were good but still something happened in the exam hall and they got in that panic zone and everything got wrong right maybe it was not their day now why it was not your day have you attended enough mock tests have you analyzed enough mock test so you need to practice you need to do more practice questions and you need to give more mock tests and you need to have that habit of analyzing your mock test because that is your weak point right so now in these two category of students one thing that all of you should start doing is post mortem of your j2025 right these are the two reasons that i gave you there can be some other reasons as well financial problems health problems so many things right these are different things now other reasons can be ma'am my physics was weak ma'am my math was weak ma'am my chemistry was weak which subject is weak which topic is weak are you doing silly mistakes in calculations right or are you not reading the question properly and you just suddenly want to answer right is that your problem you need to post mortem sit for one day like recollect the memories of j2025 exam and understand what went wrong there now you need to write it down you just can't say okay this went wrong this went no write it down on a notebook that these are the mistakes that you have done throughout the year and on the exam day what are the mistakes that you did once you know that these are the mistakes that i did now you need to have a proper plan that is personalized plan because student number a can have different problems student number b can have different problem right so what should be your personalized plan two things that should be there one is divide and conquer so that means you need to divide your next coming 4 5 months right if you want me to make a timetable with uh, like for chemistry with the chapter names everything right i'll do that just write it down in the comment section that ma'am we want it right and you yourself also try to do this yourself right my video will be helping you in doing that now divide your syllabus and prioritize your syllabus that these are my weak chapters this i do have to do first 
and then when you're prioritizing your prioritizing your chapters you also have to see one thing balance is the key let's say your maths is weak now give more time to maths for example chemistry is weak now give more time to chemistry right so balance you have to make you don't have to do that okay this is my favorite subject i'll give a lot all the time to my favorite subject no the thing that you find difficult which is important for your exam give more time to it as well as side by side if you have a strong topic you need to practice it again and again so that from that strong topic definitely you get your marks next is a sequence should be there it's not like you are jumping from 1 to 3 then 5 then 4 then 2 no there should be a proper sequence that you need to follow now i'll tell you what will be the sequence first is in the class you will have lecture you are watching youtube video or you are in the sigma sigma batch whatever is the case after that you will get class notes right then follow your ncert book reading of that particular topic right after that this is for your concept building right if some concept is very difficult to understand you want to refer to some good level of book beyond ncert as well right then i have already given you list of books that you can refer to right then for question solving first you need to do in class questions the dpps that are provided to you the homework that is given to you then modules right like in vedantu we have tatva modules right so similarly focus on modules then also focus on ncert questions plus previous year questions of different different state exams right your j means j advanced question also you should start attempting right then after that after previous year questions revision is the key and revision should be periodically revision should be in a way that you don't passively just go through the paragraph and theory part no theory is done one time one time revision through detailed theory part then start revising through your short notes right short notes we have already provided in our batches like these are the short notes that we are providing in the batch right so from these short notes you need to revise everything right then revise through practice questions so that should be your sequence of revision right so once you have done that now picking up the books what kind of books that you want right so it's a stupid idea to say that i'll book, do this book this book this book this book this book no focus on one book beyond ncert i am saying and good quality book so i have already given you list of good quality book go and see you can choose any one of them you can best will be if you choose any coaching module right like we have tatva module right so that is the best because in a coaching module the kind of questions that are arranged in a basic to advanced level that would be great for you right next is very 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 important your mock test now especially for those students who have taken drop just because they were not able to do well in their exam they have good concept knowledge they have practiced enough questions but still in the exam something happens and they tend to forget everything or they mess up everything that means you need to train your mind how to be in a state of pressure in a panic zone and still you have to give your 100% still how your brain will start you know molding itself into that idea right but for that you need to give regular mock test in our sigma batch we take after every 15 days there are mock test right where for example in 15 days we have completed some syllabus right after 15 days for that syllabus only we are going to take the mock test right so you can join the sigma batch because that environment is already provided to you or if you are like ma'am i am learning from youtube then you need to arrange good mock test we are providing you all india test series as well you can take test series as a mock test only but mock test live mock test i would definitely suggest you more as compared to a uh, test series because test series is for practice live mock test will be more beneficial right both are good but live mock test is important that you must not forget right so that is all about that you need to take care in your this journey right because so many people are out there questioning you you have taken a draw there are so many expectations right forget about everything for now just focus on one thing why you took this drop now because if you have decided you have promised yourself it's your duty right 
to give all the potential that you have right because when you put in all the efforts all the potential within yourself right you will see really really unimaginable results that are that will be coming by your side right so that will be great for you right and students this is our official telegram channel you can just scan this code and you will land up to the page of our telegram channel where all the live sessions our academic live sessions all the information regarding je means and advance is there on this particular telegram channel right and guys i want all of you to write it down in the comment section whether you were focus dropper like till now you have observed that ma'am i will focus only all these mistakes i am not repeating what you have what you have told i am already on that plan then tell focus dropper if you are like ma'am i feel that there are some mistakes that i am doing but you just opened my eyes then write that i will fix it and like at least 10 comments in this video so that some other student right when he will see that he will get a notification that uh, someone has liked the comment they will get an idea yes i promised that i will fix it i have to fix it right so that will be your reminder and guys our sigma batch is already live you can see this here right sigma batch day 2026 in the description box that i told you mock test i talked to you about then uh, your quizzes daily reflection that what exactly you are doing right self and analysis is on daily basis in quizzes and leaderboards there is competition so you can see where you lie and what more hard work more thing that you need to do to be at that level right then apart from this we have replays where doubts you can ask in the replays as well live sessions are taken mock tests are taken after every 15 days modules are provided to you for your practice where previous year questions J level 1 to level 5 advanced level we have questions in there theory part is also there in the modules but theory we will also teach you in the class and some questions also will teach you daily dpps are provided to you on the top of it we also provide you all india test series for example there is no mock test for because alternate it happens so in that one week you can practice on your own pace as well right then after that if you opt for qr cards here because there are three types of planners that we have if you opt for quick revision cards as well then these kind of short notes will also be provided to you right that will be delivered at your home and if you opt for this one then sigma plus j 11th and 12th books will be provided to you in the hard copy version books will be provided in all the cases but here it will be provided in the hard copy version right so that's it for today now i'm waiting for all of you to join the sigma batch so that we can actually achieve what we dream to right so see you all in the class because the dream is real then the preparation also has to be real right bye bye take care